Hey everybody, I'm John Granado. That's Lance Zerline. You can hear us mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at Sportsmap HOU. Lance, Astros, we're getting close, man. It's almost over this regular season stuff. I'm tired of it. Let's go. Let's move on. But one thing we have seen, we've seen Hunter Brown now. He started, then he started, then he went to the bullpen and he did long relief, a three-inning stint, and then he came in in a high-leverage situation, loaded the bases with nobody out, and got out of it. We're seeing Hunter Brown making a way that they cannot possibly take him off the playoff roster. Right. Am I no right? Way. Yeah, no way. Okay, now we see him in long relief as well. I don't know that they'll trust him in a long relief playoff situation. I'm hoping they will because that makes it more and more evident that – Christian Javier has to be in the rotation, right? Do you remember in 2020 when Christian Javier went, I believe it was four innings, in the playoffs, long relief as a rookie? I think there's no – and that's Dusty – and Dusty did that, Dusty Baker. So I don't think there's any doubt that Dusty Baker would have the faith to go with uh, – well, define long relief. You mean three innings because that means something – yeah. Probably went wrong, at least from a pitch count standpoint. Well, we know he can start. Why couldn't he throw three innings? I think he'll only go two because they like their bullpen better now. I think they like their arms. So I think Hunter Brown could go two if, innings. If he's rolling along, then it's dumb not to put him in there. And if he gives up a hit or something and puts a guy on base, then maybe. But well, this guy's a starter. I mean, what 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 about what his starts that you saw that he can't throw three innings in a game? Well, I think he can. There's always that thing where – Major League teams want, want you to see, you know, the fewer times that a, a hitter gets to see you, the better. So you have that. And I think the Astros bullpen, I mean, this is the best bullpen they've had headed into a postseason since the new iteration of the uh, of the Astros started in 15. So I think they're, I think it's less about Hunter Brown and more about how de- – me, if it's me, I let a starter who's in a rhythm go. If they're in a, if they're in a middle relief role or a stretched role, um, I'm with you. I don't think that's going to happen, though. I think Dusty would go with the same guy, Stanek, Montero, uh, maybe Abreu, um, Norris. I think he's going to trust his bullpen. He'll trust those guys to do their job. He won't overtax the arm of Hunter Brown so he can get him in if he needs to in a game quicker than, you know, sooner rather than later. And I don't think you'll see him work more than two innings. But if it were me, I'm kind of with you. If a starter who's in the pen gets into a rhythm, let that rhythm pitcher. Yeah. That's like feeding a running back a bunch of carries. At some point, you know, this isn't like I get an explosive play. There's a cumulative effect where they get a feel for the game. And I think Hunter Brown's one of those guys who needs a feel for the game. Yeah. And there's a, listen, feed me Coors Lights. All right, and then there's a cumulative effect yes. from those Coors Lights. Perfect okay? segue. That's the what I like. It's the way that it's my it's putting me in my chill, in my chill position. Whether I'm golfing or playing poker or whatever I'm doing, sitting at home cooking, uh, cooking on the grill outside, whatever the case may be, I've got me Blue Mountains chill. I keep Texas chill. The weather's starting to turn a little bit now, but I still got to keep Texas chill. And so do you. Pick up a six-pack, 12-pack, or whatever of cold, clean, crisp, refreshing Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Um, Lance, we saw Mancini sit a couple of games against the Orioles because he just hasn't been hitting. We see Vasquez come in and give a spark, but we know what he thinks of Maldonado. We see Aledmus Diaz back now. There's a chance that these guys, these these, these uh, trade deadline guys, may not be contributing much in the postseason, and we that and and, and we th- we think we needed offense, right? That's yeah. what they went after. They yeah. went after Mancini and they went after Vasquez. Not the biggest names out there, but names out there. Is there any chance that uh, these guys don't contribute in the postseason? And we have. We've seen issues with this offense where it's been stagnant. It's a little scary right now. Yeah, I think they will. I don't know that Mancini necessarily changes a stagnant offense. We just know he's feast or famine, at least for the Astros. Um, I do think there's a chance that Trey Mancini is maybe a guy that, you, especially with the Ledmus Diaz being back, I think there's a chance you could see him if you played uh, – a five game series you may see him in only one of those games as a starter and maybe one as a pinch hitter I think there's a chance that Vasquez is caught up in I guess a numbers game like he has been the entire year where they just trust Maldonado with the pitching staff Maldi's got some pop too which is nice for a guy who doesn't hit for average he does have some power but um 
I think that Vasquez, you know, of the two, to me, Vasquez is the guy that I try to figure out ways to get him in the game. And I don't think there's anything wrong. I know Dusty didn't do this in a regular season, but I think if you end up carrying three catchers on your playoff roster, I would consider pinch hitting more frequently for Maldonado by the sixth inning with Vasquez and letting Vasquez roll forward from there. He's a legitimate defensive catcher. Um, maybe doesn't have the same arm as Maldonado from a defensive standpoint. But, but it ain't far off. It's not far off. And and it's not far enough off that he shouldn't be getting as many or more at-bats yeah. than, than Maldonado. So but hopefully has, he sees more. Mancini may not be a big factor moving may not forward. Be. He, he may not be. And I'm worried. And still, the leading causes of not winning in the postseason are going to be a stagnant offense, one. Relief pitching falls apart, two. Three is starting pitching by far, I think. I think we can is count the on the starting yeah. pitching. Pitching, But I think Dusty decisions are still in there. I think Dusty's decisions are still a real uh, – can be problematic for this postseason. Yeah, and decisions, you mean the lineup or you mean who he brings in? AJ's who, issues, who I brings, thought – AJ who, was more pitching stuff. Yeah. Dusty may feel like it's more who's even starting. Yeah, well, I think both. Who he brings in in relief and who who's uh, that and the batting order. I think those can be problematic as well. Hmm. So pretty much everything a manager's it's, supposed that's to right. do. Everything a manager does. And how many wins do you have career? Um, I don't have 2,000, I can tell you that. Thank you. <laughs>